Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's great to see you. And it's always good to be together. I praise Yah. Shabbat Shalom. And today I can say Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Because this is the new month of Shabbat. Shabbat. It's the 11th month. And um, so it started, it came in on Wednesday night into Thursday. And so now we're already on the third of Shabbat. The 11th month. 11, the stars in Joseph's dream. And of course, they represented Joseph's 11 brothers. And by going down to Egypt, by doing Yah's will, by being sold into slavery, and doing what Yah wanted, no matter what the circumstances were, Yah used Joseph to save his brothers, his father and mothers, and all the family, and all the world. So Yah has a plan. He always is ready to save this world. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later because of the love train. That's an opportunity to save the world too. Hallelujah. Let's begin with a prayer. Thank you, Yahuwah. You are the greatest. There's none beside you. There's none before you, none after you. You alone are He, the one and only. And we look only to you for all of our needs and only to you to give thanks for everything that you do. For you do everything for us. And we need to be more appreciative of you. And we are appreciative today, this Sabbath, this Sabbath, to rest in you and you alone. Bless the hearts of all those that are tuning in to rest in you. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Um, I had one song, um, and I kind of forgot it now, but um, oh, I'll remember it. Give thanks to Yahuwah, call upon his name. Give thanks to Yahuwah, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Make known his deeds among the people. Give thanks to Yahuwah, call upon his name. Give thanks to Yahuwah. Call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Make known his deeds among the people. Make known his deeds among the people. Hallelujah. Give thanks to Yahuwah, for he is good. His kindness endures forever. Today, of course, is um, Shabbat, but I wanted to go back and say the uh, monthly blessing, the Rosh Kadesh blessing, the head of the month, the new month, a blessing for Shabbat. Not Shabbat, but Shabbat. This is the 11th month. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, sovereign of the universe, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and brought us to this season, this new month of Shabbat. And may it be your will, Yahuwah, our Elohim, and Elohim of our forefathers, that you bless us this month with goodness and blessing. May you give us long life, a life of peace, a life of goodness, a life of blessing, a life of sustenance, physical health, and a life in which there is fear of heaven and fear of sin. A life in which there is no shame nor humiliation. A life of wealth and respect. A life in which we have love of Torah and fear of you. A life in which you, Yahuwah, our Father, fulfills our heartfelt requests for the good. And may you, our Father, the set-apart one, blessed is your name, May you bless all your people, the family of Israel, with goodness and blessing, with joy and gladness, with deliverance and comfort, with good sustenance and support, with good life and peace. So be it. So be it. Hallelujah. Blessings for this month of Shabbat, the 11th month. I thank you. Well, I mentioned that Joseph, this uh, 11 brothers, the stars in his dream, they bowed down to him because he was serving Yah and taking care of whatever Yah had as plan for this world to save it. It's almost like a prelude to the Exodus because they went down to Egypt and then Yah is going to do a terrific deliverance and bring them out. And that's where we're reading this week. We read Exodus or Shemot as Hebrew for Exodus, Exodus 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we got into the plagues. We got um, uh, the first seven plagues out of the way in just this week's reading. So we're moving right along with Exodus. Um, and we'll see that the first thing that Moses was shown at the burning bush was to know Yah's name. 
He had to tell the people who is take, bringing them out of slavery. It's Yahuwah. Same thing with getting on that love train. You've got to know who Yah is. Secondly, the judgments come upon the idols of Egypt. The idols have to be left behind. When you get on the love train, you have to know Yahuwah, and there is none else. There's no room for the extra baggage of idolatry. And thirdly, when you know his name, and when you get rid of the idols, then you know that he is alone, the only God in this world. All the other gods, they're not really gods, they're idols. There's only one God, and that's Yahuwah, Elohim. Hallelujah. So we're going to see that happening as we read Exodus, as we read Shemot. I want to read just a little bit from chapter 8, 9. This is the seventh plague, the hail. <clears throat> uh, we've already had the blood and the frog and the gnats um, or lice and flies, pestilence, um, and now the seventh plague, the flies, the epidemic, the boils, and now the hail. Hail the seventh plague. Um, I'm going to pick it up from verse 13 in chapter 9 of Exodus. I'll go 19, 13 through 19. Yahweh spoke to Moses, to Moshe, Arise early in the morning and station yourself before Pharaoh and say to him, So said Yahuwah, the Elohim of the Hebrews, Send out my people that they may serve me. For this time I shall send all my plagues against your heart and upon your servants and your people, so that you so that you shall know that there is none like me in all the world. For now I could have sent my hand and stricken you and your people with a pestilence, and you would have been obliterated from the earth. However, for this have I let you endure, in order to show my strength, and so that my name may be declared throughout the world. You still tread upon my people not to send them out. Behold, at this time tomorrow, I shall rain a very heavy hail, such as there has never been in Egypt from the day it was founded until now. And now send, gather in your livestock and everything you have in the field, all the people and animals that are found in the field that are not gathered into the house, the hail shall descend upon them and they shall die. There's this distinction here between Yah's people the children of Israel who lived in Goshen, and the rest of the Egyptians. They did not have hail upon them. But Yah warns the Egyptians. He warns them, this is coming. If you want your livestock and, and people to live, bring them in from the field, bring them into the houses. It's a warning. Um, and, and even today in our uh, modern world, this war between Israel and Hamas, the Israelis always warn the people, hey, it's coming, get out. But I think the bigger picture is Yah is warning the world. It's time to get on board the love train, time to serve him, leave idols behind, show kindness and goodness toward one another, and serve him. Serving Yah is the only way, and we'll, we'll see that as we go through the scriptures all the Torah is about serving Yah. Uh, the love train is going to be starting in Florida and going up the coast all the way to Maine and beyond, maybe Newfoundland. And then, the, uh, as the song goes, then to England. And, and uh, the next stop will be England. And, and tell all the folks in Russia and China too. And then it goes on, tell all the brothers in Africa. And what about those in Egypt and Israel too? This is 50 some years ago. Yah had the OJ sing this song. And it's prevalent for today because Yah has an exodus coming and he wants people to get on board and serve him and him alone. I thank Yah. He's the greatest. There's none like him. We'll be talking more in the coming weeks on all of this. Um, and um, so I encourage you, hear the whistle, get on board, join the love train. 
uh, there was a popular man um, several years ago, and he said, do a couple of real, real, real things every day, and they'd have a great day. I think it was, um, well, anyway, I thought of three things that you should do every day. Pray. If you pray, that's all you need. you got to ask Yah. Thank him. Let him know your situation, what's going on in your life. Ask him what he wants you to do that day and follow through. And then show kindness. Show love to someone. Do something for someone else. Help them out. And then thirdly, take time to listen to someone. If we had someone to listen to us every day, if someone was listening to everybody every day, there'd be a lot less trouble in this world. Sometimes people just need to be listened to. They just need to speak what's on their heart or their mind and what they're going through. And to have somebody listen and understand them, wow, that's important. It's almost like Micah, what the prophet Micah wrote in chapter 6, verse 8. He said, do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your Elohim. And your Elohim is Yahuwah. He's the only one. There's none beside him. So in the prophet's words, we can live that out today. Pray, show kindness to someone, and take time to listen to someone. You'll have a wonderful day every day if we do that. Because you start your day off with prayer. Put Yah first. That's walking humbly with your Elohim. Two, loving kindness and doing justice. This world would be a better place. And that's what it's going to be like when we get on the love train together. To serve Yahuwah and Him alone. Hallelujah. I'm going to say the final blessing. Um, I'm going to blow the whistle. Uh, we'll have the shofar blast, and then we'll we'll say Shabbat Shalom for now. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. The eleventh month, Shabbat. S H E B A T. Shabbat. Thank you, Yah. It's time to get on board on that love train, so that we're all serving Him and showing kindness and love in this world. This is the world He made. For his love and kindness to be shown. Yivareka Yahweh Yah will bless you and guard you. Can you hear so may it be? Yaer Yahu upon Vleka Vikuneka. Yah will make his face shine upon you and show favor to you. Can you hear so may it be? Yisa Yahu upon Vleka via Simlaka Shalom. Yahu lift up his face upon you and give you peace. Can you hear so may it be? And we bless the name of Yahuwah now and forever. Hallelujah. Hear the train coming and get on board. Serve Yahuwah and show loving kindness toward one another. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Have a great month of Shabbat, and we'll see you next time. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Shabbat Shalom. Bye-bye.